Hi, welcome to my video on dividing a polynomial by a binomial. Polo means many terms, so it could be one, it could be two, it could be three, it could be four, five, etc., etc. Recall, arranging polynomials in descending order up is always done by me when I do maths because it keeps everything consistent. And you fill in the missing terms with a zero times that term or terms that are missing. Let's work some practice here now. Find a quotient or remainder of each. So we have an x plus 1. And this is descending order, so everything is okay. Notice you got a square, you got an x, and you got a 3. So that's a 1 and a constant. 3, 2, 1, and a constant. 1 is understood. So x into 4x cubed is a 4x squared. Multiply back. 4x cubed. And you get positive 4x squared. So it's 4x times x. 4x times 1. There's the answers. Add, so I make it a minus. Add, so I make it, I'm adding on the opposite. Plus and a minus cancels out. Negative 6, negative 4 is negative 10x squared. Bring down your next term. Uh, x into negative 10x squared is negative 10x. Negative 10x times x, negative 10x squared. Negative 10x times 1 is negative 10x. Negative becomes positive. The negative becomes positive. Negative 10 plus 10 cancels out. Negative 2, negative 10, negative 12x. Bring down your 3. x into negative 12x is negative 12. Negative 12 times x, negative 12x. Negative 12 times 1, negative 12. That's a minus, so you make it a plus. And that's a minus, you make it a plus. And so negative 12 plus 12 like, cancels out. So that's a 3 and then plus 12, so that's a 15. So I have a quotient of, here it is, x to the fourth, x, 4x squared minus 10x minus 12, and the remainder is 15. So again, there's your quotient, the answer to division, and there's your remainder. And this division here, you would put the x plus 2, or the 2 plus x, write it in descending order as the x first and the 2, x to the 4th, and we got an x to the 4th, an x and a constant, so it's x to the 4th. x cubed is missing, so I put a 0 in. x squared is missing, so I put a 0 in. And we have a 9x and a 3, so we have the x to the 4th, x, 9x, x to the 4th, 9x, and 3. So here's the missing term, so I put 0 in, because if we don't, Division is going to not go right. So x into x to the fourth is x cubed. Put the cube above the cubes. Multiply back. I get x to the fourth. Multiply by 2, and I get 2x cubed. The plus becomes a minus. The plus becomes a minus. So they cancel. 0 and negative 2 is a negative 2. Bring down your next term, which is 0x squared. So x into negative 2x cubed is a negative 2x squared. Multiply back, negative 2x cubed. And negative 2x squared times 2 is a negative 4x squared. Minus becomes a plus. The minus becomes a plus. So I have a negative 2 plus 2 cancels out. 0 and plus 4 is a 4x squared. Bring down your plus 9x. x into 4x squared is a plus 4x. Plus 4 times x. Or sorry, 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. Plus becomes a minus. The plus becomes a minus. Plus 4x squared, negative 4, cancels out. And an 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down your 3. x into x goes once plus 1. Multiply back 1 times x. x. 1 times 2. 2. 
plus becomes a minus, the plus becomes a minus, so plus one, minus one, zero, three, subtract two is one, so my quotient here is the top part of this line, because that's my divisor, that's my dividend, this is my quotient, so x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. So I wrote all that down right there, and my remainder is a 1 down here. Let's continue. Practice means, pause the video, you work these out, and play back to see if you got the right answers. Descending order. Perfect. Q square 1x. So they're in descending order already, so I don't have to change anything around. So it's down. X into x cubed is x squared. The squares go above the squares. The x's go above the x's. The constants above the constants. Multiply back x squared times x is x cubed. X squared times 3 is 3x squared. And I subtract and I get a negative. And I get a negative. So that cancels. 3, so that cancels. So that's a 0. Bring down your 10x. So x into 10x. So notice I get a 0 here. So when I brought that down, x into 10x goes negative 10. But the negative 10 has to go over here. Can't go there. Because x into negative 10x is negative 10. Constant above constants. So that means I had to bring down that negative 1 now. So negative 10 times x is negative 10x. Negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. So you make that a plus. You make that a plus. So negative 10 plus 10 cancels out. And negative 1 and negative th uh, negative 1 plus 30 is a 29. So a little glitch here. Not a glitch, but you had to be careful. That when we subtracted here, they all got zero. So when I brought this down, and when I divided, I had to move the negative 10 over here. So my quotient is x squared minus 10, and my re remainder is 29. A little different. And number three. Oh, that's number 2 here. That's just a 2. Divide here, I get a 3x plus 1, descending order. And I have to do descending here. So x to the 4th first. x cubed next. x squared next. x next. Negative 1 next. 3 into 6 goes 2x cubed. Multiply back. 6x4 plus 2x cubed. That's a negative, and that's a negative. So that gives me a 0 when I add, and that's negative 1, negative 2 is 3x cubed. Bring down 5x squared. 3x into negative 3x squared is a negative. That's a negative 2x squared. 3x into this is negative, negative 1. Now that's begin to make an error. Be careful, that's a 1. So 1 times, that's 3x cubed, and that's a negative x squared. That's a 1 now. Change the sign to a plus, change the sign to a plus, cancels. 5 and 1 is 6. x squared, bring down your negative x. 3x into 6x squared is a plus 2x. 2x times 3x. 2x times 1. And that becomes a minus. That becomes a minus. Cancels. So that's negative 1. That's 1 understood. Negative 1, negative 2 is negative 3x minus 1. So when I divide 3x into negative 3x, I get a negative 1. Multiply. 3x times negative 1, negative 1 times plus 1, minus 1. So this gives me, that's a plus. You better put a plus there, not a minus. That's a plus, and that's a plus. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So my quotient is 
the top part of this line, 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Remember, that's a, I made an error. That's a 1. That's a minus 1, right? That's a 1. And my remainder is 0. Okay, let's continue. The more practice you get on dividing, the better you'll be. So let's work these out. I'm going to divide this to come up with the quotient, to come up with the remainder, to write it as a mixed numeral, mixed polynomial, sorry. And I'm going to verify. So here we go. Let's take x plus 1 and divide it into. It is already 3, 2, 1 constant. Perfect. It's in the right. It's in descending order already. So x into x cubed is x squared. Multiply back x times x squared, x cubed, x squared times 1. Change the sign. That's a minus, and that's a minus. Positive 1, negative 1 cancels. 4 minus 1 is 3. x into x squared. Oh, I better bring down that x term. So x into 3x squared is plus 3x. That gives me 3x squared and plus 3x, remember 3x times x, 3x times 1, there they are, that becomes a minus, that becomes a minus, they cancel out, negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6, bring down your 2, x into negative 6x is negative 6, multiply negative 6 by x, negative 6 by 1, that plus, that minus becomes a plus, that minus becomes a plus, so they cancel. Plus 2 plus 6 is 8, so my quotient is right on the top. x squared plus 3x minus 6. x squared plus 3x minus 6. My remainder is 8. Now the mix. So my dividend is here. That's my divisor. That's my quotient, and that's my remainder. So if I take my dividend, which is the answer to the division, and write it down, and put my remainder on top of there, and my divisor is x plus 1. Just, this is a little on the side here. If I had a, uh, say, 14 divided by 3, I go 3 into 14, 3 fourths makes 12, subtract and get a 2. So that would have been a four and two thirds. So this is my dividend, which is the same as this one, goes right here. This is my remainder, which is two, which goes here. Same thing, remainder is two, two over three. This is a mixed numeral. So this is a mix, I call it a mixed polynomial, but you won't see that around too often. And to verify this, I can multiply x squared plus three x minus six times x plus 1 add on 8. And that's the same as right here. So if that's 4 times your 3 plus your 2 over 3. So what I'm doing here, that times that over 8 is the same as 4 times 3 plus 2 over 3. And if you want to keep multiplying, so I'm multiplying those two first. That gives me x cubed plus x squared, then I go 3x times those two, so 3x times x, 3x squared, 3x times 1, 3x, now I go 6 times both of them, uh, negative 6 times x, negative 6 times 1, and add on the 8, and 2, 2, 1, 1, perfect, x cubed, plus 4x squared minus 3x plus 2. So notice, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 and a negative 6 is negative 3, and 2. So there's the polynomial. So that's verifying. That polynomial right here should be the same as up on top. So notice your dividend that's your divisor, your denominator, that's your numerator. So that's a verifying. So that just verifies your division. Just a difficult way of 
expressing it and looking at it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's again more division. The more you do, the better you get. And remember, if uh, if this topic is uh, in a later grade, then postpone it and wait the next year and review this and keep it in mind. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed my video. Press the like button. If you're not a subscriber, press the subscribe button and click the notification bell. If you want to write a comment, go ahead, only if you're a subscriber. And you want to visit my math website at mathfullyexplained.com. And there you'll have three sections. One is on me, my degrees and teaching experience. The other one is on videos, which is the uh, strategies they're going to use to help you learn your math. The content has the topics and the number of videos on my YouTube channel. The black font is what's online already, and the red font is what we have, will be on the line in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.